Thursday, 26 September, Powell and Yellen speaking. First critical price points, we have the weekly volume imbalance, and here we trade to that, then we drop down to the daily chart, we see the weekly volume imbalance again annotated in here, and then we have the sell side imbalance by side inefficiency on the daily chart. We trade almost we trade to midpoint of that. I should have noted that, but I, I forgot. And then we immediately um, we see the reason why this isn't filled is because we have a previous day on the, on the four hour we had an, a, a sell side imbalance by side inefficiency, but on the one hour chart it's clearer to see that um, in here why we stopped just not um, at the high of the weekly volume imbalance because the weekly because on the four hour the high of that SIBI was um, above the weekly volume imbalance. So we took the one hourly chart and we annotate this also in the one hour chart is the order block, which is the low of the day. So the high and the low of the PM session, not the day, the PM session, AM session. So the entry model and price delivery, this was the Asian session. We note the sell side and buy side from 6 to 7 PM. This was the south side, this was the buy side from 7 p.m. We trade down. Once we are here, we annotate um, if we are uh, we have a willingness to trade to the south side. And as you can see, we don't have a willingness to, to trade below the new day opening gap. We trade up, we see if we have a new willingness to take this out. Um, we don't, we leave that with momentum. Once we leave with momentum, we annotate the fair value gap. We um, see an order block once it trades back below the order block that's what when I want to enter uh, as you can see price didn't take out the buy side yet if it took out the buy side then I would look for an inversion to take out sell side but today um, this when price came back in here I was I, I was a willing buyer to take out buy side so we we take out buy side we leave one contract open as usual for a possible runner and um, if we did that, we had several hundreds handles to target the low of that weekly volume imbalance. In here, this was enough to um, see that we don't want to have willingness to trade lower because first of all, we had this, then we trade below this. We see um, another willingness to even trade to the new opening gap. Once you trade above, we leave a volume imbalance. If that vo if the price comes down inside that volume imbalance, we inverse this. And once we we see that, this could be an entry. Um, this was the optimal entry. Also, when the uh, order block, if it trades down in, inside of that, that was uh, also an entry. If we have the volume, the weekly, uh, no, excuse me, the inverse of our value gap, once it trades down below that, that's another entry. And then once it trades down inside this value gap and this order block within that, the upper quadrant, upper portion of that, not the midpoint, that's a, a reason for us to trade to the buy side. With um, condition that we didn't take out the buy side, yes, if we took out buy side in here, this trade, I would not be interested. And then we have pre-market conditions. We see the 50 minute fair value gap um, is being uh, respected in here. I didn't see a trade setup to take out buy side. Maybe if it, if I went to the 15 second chart, but once again, I don't have that data. Then once price trades in this portion, we can take a trade, but I'm not sure if this is a breakaway now. Um, so um, we wait, we don't do anything. And here buy side is stacked. This leaves relative equal lows. Um, I'm willing to take that trade now once we do, once we, oh, once we have some speed in it, as you can see, we tag the buy side, we leave speed with, with that, excuse me, we have speed with that, we leave, we leave with inefficiencies, we trade back up into that, the order block, and then we take out sell side. That, this is where we could have uh, shorted. But once we once again we leave, we see an inefficiency in here. Then we have the 750 till 810 macro probably, and then we trade down lower to take out south side. This was the optimal trade to trade back in the into the order block. I wouldn't have liked. I wouldn't. I didn't like to see that we traded up the upper part quadrant of the inverse of fair value gap. But still, this was a high probability trade. 
and I knew that this was, was going to happen. So move forward a bit, we can see that cell site was being tagged. Um, then we, we, we uh, move higher, we wait for the 830 unemployment claims. We have some price disruption, first we take out buy side, then we take out nothing on the sell side really. Um, we trade up, we trade down, D9, we have this volume imbalance, and then this um, three consecutive down close candle, the order block, once price trades above that, we see we have worse this. We respect the consequent encouragement of this wick. Then we trade up. We trade in the volume imbalance. Looking for an entry in this order block in here. We look at the spread. Oh, this was a valid entry. And then we enter for a long position. Then we have once again Yellen speak in at 920. And then Powell speak in. And we have a large opening range gap. 270 handles almost. My 50 top 1010. We inverse this for value gap. We wait till 220. We see that um, he's spoken. So once we trade down inside of this, this could have been a short entry. But um, I wanted to wait for some more confirmation because we trade into the midpoint of that, which is a reason for us to go up to take out these relative equal highs. Once we trade down into that, we see the midnight opening price. We find support at that. We trade up in the silver bullet. We respect that um, um, for value gap in here. We trade down with momentum. We trade up back in this. I would have liked to see this as a, as a breakaway gap, but because we have a volume imbalance, this doesn't need to stay a breakaway gap. We trade up into that. We have a 50 minute volume imbalance. And at 10.45, we start a new 50-minute candle. So at 10.45, I'm interested, once we trade into that 15-minute volume imbalance, I'm interested to, to take a short position in here. Yes, we see um, all these, these um, resistance points. That's an, a reason for us to trade lower, to take out the relative equal lows, the new day opening gap, the opening range gap, previous day high as resistance points. Then we come into the lunch macro. We annotate a 50 minute for value gap in here. The four hour inverse of a value gap low. Um, we trade up, we trade down, we engineer liquidity, we trade up to take out buy side, we trade up to take this buy side out. Um, finally, we engage some buy side of the day. How can we anticipate it on that, which is in here at after 11, 11 30 before 12 to um, take out the opposite direction of the day. This is then the trade that we could have ant anticipated it in once it trades back into here, the order block in here, we trade up, take a partial in here, um, some partials at the 50 minute for value gap and then a partial at this high and this high. This 50 minute for value gap, I don't like to take partials in here, but definitely in here. And definitely in here and this is where my trade um, and then I would leave a contract open I would throw my stop loss I would close the trade once I see this once I saw momentum um, from the four hour chart in here to see the south side um, I, I lowered in here I panicked and trade in here to have a short entry to take out this but I should have waited for the return in this for value gap at least and then it also returns as this order block which then um, rallies down all the way down to um, this low because the of the that's where I would take a partial also we take the previous day high we take that as resistance now in here so in here um, we keep engaging south side, south side. Um, yeah, not buy side so much. So after that, um, this comes a um, um, point of interest for us to trade up. So I didn't, I did not anticipate on this. Um, yeah, I just I didn't. 
I wanted to, but I didn't. And then um, after this, if we see we inverse the survival gap, we leave with momentum. Then of course I want to do the trade I just explained. Then in here we wait for the one fifty to twenty ten macro. Uh, this is some smart money concept. We inverse this. There was no trade for me. Maybe on a fifteen second chart, we wait till we um, flip this resistance into support. We do that in here. We have the fifty minute order block. We trade back into that. We see an inverse of a value gap. We trade up. We we can take take the midpoint of the inverse of a value gap. Once we trade above the, once a trade trade above that, we form a down close candle. Once it trades down in the down close candle, it becomes an order block, so we can trade up to take out this high. Um, yeah, but that was it. So now price delivery. I just told you. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching.